Hello, I wanted to share with you a technique I discovered yesterday as I was trying to collimate my Celestron telescope. I've been struggling with this for the last few days. Um, spent hours trying to collimate and it's really difficult. Uh, I don't know if you've ever tried it. It's, it feels like you're playing pin the tail on the donkey trying to adjust two mirrors simultaneously basically. Um, you know, every adjustment you make on the primary mirror you know, it affects the secondary mirror and vice versa. You know, I bought one of these collimating tools. You might have tried that and, you know, thinking that that'll help you out, but it really doesn't. Um, so the technique I'm going to show you, it doesn't even, yeah, there's really no need for that collimation tool at all. And it, it worked perfectly for me. Um, if you give this a try, feel free to leave some comments and, and uh, you know, let everybody know how it worked for you. But uh, what we do is we collimate one mirror at a time starting with the primary mirror. That's going to be the first one we collimate. Now to collimate this mirror, you have three adjustment screws that you see on your adjustment knobs. Uh, you have to remove that screw first because that holds the mirror in place uh, tight. So you have to remove those, those three smaller screws that you see there and then you can adjust the knob. But what I did was I removed, there's, there's three other screws here, I've taken them out. Uh, you see them laying here, but uh, that way I can actually just take out the whole entire mirror. Um, so here's my primary mirror. So what you're going to do is you're going to remove that mirror, and then that gives you easier access to your secondary mirror through the tube, so you can actually stick your hand in here. And what we're going to do is remove that secondary mirror. If you go to the front of the scope here, you'll see that there are four screws. There's the three hex head screws. Those are your adjustment screws for uh, for aligning the secondary mirror. And then the very center is the screw that holds the mirror into place. So what you're going to do is unscrew that center screw. And you can stick your hand through the tube from the other side and hold the mirror as you unscrew from this side. Um, I think it helps to have a you know, cordless tools such as this to uh, to help you do that but you unscrew that one and then you have just a little hole there then so the mirrors out you pull the mirror out and you, you've got the screw hole right there so what you're gonna do then is put your primary mirror back in and yeah I know there's a lot of taking out and putting back in of this primary mirror, but it's really not a problem. Um, even after you've got it aligned and set the way you want it, uh, there seems to be no issue at all with taking this mirror out and putting it back in. <clears throat> Those screws will still, once you have it tightened in there, it's going to be aligned the same every time. So I'm sticking this, let me set this camera down so I can get this mirror in there. All right, so I've got the mirror back in there. I'm not going to put the screws back in, but for alignment purposes, you would want to screw it in tight. After that's screwed in tight, you're going to come back over here to the front, and you're going to look through the little hole. I just did this all yesterday. I'm not going to redo it, but I can explain how this works. So you'll be looking through the hole, and you're going to also see the hole through the reflection of the primary mirror. So when you first do it, it might look something like this. You know, it's not aligned. And so you're going to go to the back of the mirror, the back of your primary mirror, adjust your screws, adjust your knobs, and keep adjusting. And you'll figure out pretty quickly you know, which screws are you know, moving the mirror which way. And what you're going to do is keep adjusting that until when you're looking through that small hole, and you see the reflection of the back towards you, everything is going to line up concentrically, you know, perfectly centered like this. Um, once you have it perfectly centered like this, then you know your primary mirror is aligned perfectly to the front of the tube. So it takes a little bit of playing around with the three knobs to get it right, but 
uh, once you get used to it, once you've done it, you know, start turning those knobs, you see that you can very easily get the adjustment that you need. So once everything is perfectly concentric, now you're going to go back here and you're going to remove the primary mirror once again. So, and don't worry about that because when you put it back in, it's still going to be aligned. But you're going to remove that primary mirror and you're going to put your secondary mirror back in. So you're going to put that uh, screw through that center hole and screw your secondary mirror back in. With the primary mirror removed, now you could do it either way. You can put the primary mirror back in if you want to. Uh, I left it out and I just aligned my secondary mirror then and as you see here you're going to just keep adjusting the secondary mirror until you just have a nice perfectly circular opening you know when you first do it, it you know it's going to be all over the place you know things aren't aren't going to be uh, centered at all but it takes some I found the secondary mirror to be much more difficult to align than the primary mirror. These three adjustment screws are not spring-loaded, so every time you adjust one screw, uh, it affects the other two screws also, unlike the pr primary mirror, which you can really adjust each of those knobs independently of the other, So, because they're all spring-loaded. These are not spring-loaded, so really all the screws depend on each other. So adjusting one screw does affect the other two. So it's, it is trickier to adjust this one. The other thing you have to keep in mind too is you have to have the center, the very center screw adjusted properly also because you need that secondary mirror sticking out at just the right uh, length, just the right distance so it's centered in your hole right here. Um, if I made the mistake of just screwing it all the way into the as far as it would go to start with and the mirror was was way off center uh, and then so I had to unscrew it quite a bit to add some more distance so that it's centered in the eyepiece tube so what you do though is you keep adjusting those screws until your uh, your opening as you're looking through this opening is perfectly centered in the eyepiece and you could do it with the mirror in there, I guess, also. Um, but I just found it easier to have that tube open at the end. So looking, so I'm looking through this open end. And so after you have that and have it all tight, you put the primary mirror back in again. You set that in there. <clears throat> you put your screws back in. Um, I'll just put one screw back in there, but you screw that back in there. And then, when you come over here, and you look through here, you're going to find that everything is perfectly aligned. Uh, no further collimation needed. Everything was aligned perfectly. And uh, you can also, you know, if you have your collimation tool, you can put that in there. And, um, you know, just to confirm that also, and I don't know if this is going to show up at all, but well, I can give it a try. But um, all my little crosshairs align perfectly in here. So it was just a what I felt a very easy technique to collimate the, the scope, you know, one mirror at a time. Oh, one other thing I should point out, too, is by removing those mirrors, what's nice is that you actually have the opportunity to give them a nice little wipe down, too. I have these microfiber cloths that I got from Harbor Freight and um, they work really really well. You want to make sure you get any little dust and any of the little particles off those mirrors. So, uh, but yeah, very easy technique. Should probably take, you know, probably I would say easily less than an hour and it uh, takes the guesswork out of it. Um, you're, it's more systematic approach as opposed to just turning some screws and hoping that they land where you want them to land. So, yeah, feel free to leave some comments if you, you know, have any ideas or any other suggestions or if you've tried this out and it worked for you, you know, just whatever. Um, feel free to comment on this so we can share our information, share our ideas. Thank you. Bye-bye.